can't interrupt these. I don't. My interrupts off cooldown. There it is. Okay, that was messy. I don't. Why did I combust there? I didn't mean to bust there. Once I know that it has crit. Oh, expel intruders. I need to get in the corner here. Uh, that's the tank gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he got blasted out of it. No, that wasn't the tank, it was the DK. Okay, okay, never mind. Good, we're good. The Ruby life pools. The pools of Ruby life. The life pools of Ruby. Ruby's life pools. Who the hell is Ruby? Why do her pools give life? I think the tank's gonna stop somewhere over there, so we'll drop our meteor over there. I was a little bit wrong about that. So my meteor hit just about nothing. That's unfortunate. Let me show you what the skip is. <laughs> Oh man, I ate shit so bad there. <laughs> Hi, hello and welcome. I am definitely not James and you're watching me pug my way to 3k rating on a fire mage in Dragonflight Season 3. Today, I'm going to try and hit 70. I say today, but it's probably going to be two days of me recording and then another day of me editing through a bunch of recording. So in order to save myself from having a two hour long video of me leveling the last 10 levels, I'm only going to show you each dungeon once because there's no time walking. So I have to queue for normal Dragonflight dungeons and that takes quite a bit of time. If we do all of the dungeons before I'm 70, then I'm going to show you an extra dungeon in which I hit 70. So let's see here. I do have some stuff to sell, which is this, the, mostly this stuff. So I'll put that on the auction house and I'll also take a look at some of these things that I am tracking right now. I still need the cloak and I still need the gloves. Maybe I should have bought the gloves yesterday when they were like 900 gold. Actually, I only have 400 gold, so <laughs> don't think I could have done that. So I can't really buy anything. Maybe I can buy the 421 cloak. Actually, no, no, I can't. I don't have the gold. I can't. I don't know why my brain is not processing the fact that I do not have gold. We're just going to slap these onto the auction house, get a tiny bit of gold from that. Frost weave cloth, is that even worth putting on the auction house? No, I'd really only get one gold 30 silver from it. I don't think I'm going to bother doing that. If it doesn't sell, I might even lose gold. So yeah, just forget about that. We're going to vendor all of this stuff because we don't need any of it. Okay, now we're finally going to open up all of these bags. I have this extra ring here, which I don't think will be better than any of the rings I get from these. But let's see just how many duplicates of items we get. Someone was joking that I'm going to get 50 cloaks. I said I was going to get at least five wrists with the worst possible stats. That is a lot of loot. All right. Well, we got a necklace. We don't need a necklace because we have our heirloom. We got bracer. Let, let, let's just go one by one. So cloak, we don't need. Gloves are nice. We crit haste gloves. Sure. Don't need the pants because I got heirlooms. Don't need helmet. Got the heirlooms. More haste, less crit. I'll take that. Crit versatility belt. I will take that as well because it's even more intellect. Haste versatility. That's perfect. We want that. We want as much haste versatility as we can get. Those are supposedly my best stats. More haste versatility, like it. Crit versatility instead of just versatility. I lose out on stats a bit, but I get a bunch of crit. I think, I think, I think, I think I'll just equip it. Screw it. We got a belt with crit versatility. We already have the ident identical one equipped. These braces are a nice upgrade. All right, it looks like that's about it as far as the upgrades are concerned. Now we can move these items that I'm going to equip later at level 70 down all the way to the bottom and we can vendor the rest of this crap that we don't need. First we vendor and then we transmog whatever it is that we've gotten that's new. Okay, my set doesn't look all that great, but what I really, really want, I'm gonna tell you what I want, what I really, really want, is the Amirdrasil normal set. Look at this thing. It's cool as heck. Don't really care about the back piece. I really just want the rest of it. Because, I mean, look at it. It's so cool. Then I'm thinking some kind of like a one-hander or something. Or this, this could work too. I could make this work. But yeah, some cool one-handed sword or something could be really cool here. This could work. We could use the Willbreaker because it's nice and bright and shiny. But yeah, we'll, we'll think more about that later. Right now, what I have to do is I have to queue for a normal Dragonflight dungeon. I guess I could still squeeze out one more level out of... Nah, I don't think it matters. The 60 to 61 level is still pretty easy. I'm just gonna queue up for normal Dragonflight dungeons and see how it works. So I'll talk to you when I'm in a dungeon. Ooh, an Uldaman Legacy of Tear with two people at half health as soon as we start. That's interesting. <laughs> Let's grab the quests. All right, there's quests in here now too. That's cool. Okay, how do I play this class? I spent yesterday editing again, so... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it for a day, and as soon as I don't play it for a day, it's all ogre. I guess we're scorching now while we're on the move, trying to reposition. I'm going to, I used up all my charges, so I'm just going to... Oh, can I yoink that? I can yoink that. Very nice. Keep them standing in the flame patches, and I'll keep doing damage. I think I currently have the advantage of being like a lobby. I'm level 60, so I'm scaled to hell and back. Like, just doing a crap ton more damage than I really should be. Okay, well, I'm going to shield up. 
because I have aggro on this one. And to keep spell stealing these, we're fighting the boss already, so we're just going to move over. Uh, I guess I use uh, combustion and start dropping these. Just trying to get quick scorches in in case I'm being interrupted that. Spamming the bejesus out of my, uh, whatchamacallsits. They die so quickly, I can't do anything. My brain, what do? Okay, I spam scorch scorches here just because I don't have any other way to do anything. Uh, I have to keep moving. Must must stay safe. I guess fire mage is like a good fu uh, a good uh, fun way for me to learn range because when in doubt, scorch out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's going to give up soon, I would think. Yeah, there he goes. Now give me the loot. Yoink. No loot. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I should have given our Arcane Intellect. I guess the only person that can use it is the healer, so it's not a huge deal, but may as well use it. I'll kick that. It's not a big deal. What I should be kicking is this thing. I'll just use uh, Dragon's Breath to stop it. Don't have a kick available, but I can spell steal that. And I think the tank wants to group them here, so I'll use my guaranteed crits like that. Another guaranteed crit right now should get the job done and i'll use shifting power here to regain my ch charges holy crap this is pretty intense like we have a well not a decked out tank but a tank that clearly knows what they're doing because they're doing these big 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 pulls and i can respect that okay i managed to use combustion here relatively well i think trying to get the most out of it we have time warp going through from no we got the oh i got time warp should i use time warp now well this thing's basically almost dead so i don't think there's much point in doing so i'm going to quickly i think we just kill boss here i think i can ignore the totem i think that's exactly what i'm going to do yes bloodlust coming through but he's going to fall over dead before that finishes casting even so perfect that works i guess i think i'm not finishing a single sentence since the start of the dungeon oh man okay first things first summon danny yes i did just click that instead of using the actual keybind but i wanted to point out that i need to summon danny and i need to get rid of that ruby drake not doing the oculus anytime soon okay we're going to put slows on these it would be really cool if i could spell steal that oh i have aggro i'm going to get the heck out of there before she jagged bites me and i fall to pieces uh so what do i do here i just kind of hope for shifting power i guess i, I don't know we're going to slow everything Okay, keep slowing them, shifting power here to regain some stacks. That ought to do the trick. I'll just give it a quick scorch. Never mind, I won't. I'm going to start casting my fireball. There we go. Used combustion before I finished casting that. I did not use combustion before I finished casting that because I didn't finish casting that at all like a dum-dum. But what can I do? I'm going to try and fireball here. The uh, thing wasn't on me, or the orb wasn't on me, so I didn't have to stack on the boss. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm waiting for a crit from my fireball before I use... Oh, there we go. We got the crit, and luckily she bounced me out of my thing, so I didn't continue casting. Scorch is coming through, so I can get some instant casts out. One scorch into a flame blast or fire blast, whatever the heck and she's gone didn't get many uh crits there between like um, among the other things and i kind of wasted a bit of my combustion but that's okay i guess flame strike precast there we go i did manage to hit it another flame cast or fire strike precast or not precast instant cast whatever man i'm gonna knock these back just to interrupt the hails of stone those are a big pain in the ass curses are coming out we need to decurse this person they're out of my range i got them it's all good. I got them. Okay, we're going to Phoenix Flames here. Okay. Not Phoenix Flames, Shifting Power. Sorry, I'm trying to play and, and say at the same time. They're getting all knocked back to hell. I'm going to interrupt that in the background there. Pyro Blast him because there's only two targets really left. Try and get a sneaky Scorch in so I get my hot streak for the next group. I think I did okay there. Like the Shifting Power really did the heavy lifting there, it looks like, but that's okay. Sometimes you got a Shifting Power. I'm trying to uh, reposition here so I don't stand in those little circles because they really hurt or they, they don't i guess they hurt but also they increase they double the damage you take or like 50 percent. i'm not 100 sure anymore it's been a while since i had to do this dungeon i'm going to use combustion here right before the boss yes you heard me say it i'm going to combustion right before the boss because i just want i see a good opportunity to do a bunch of damage so i may as well do so cool and i'll shifting power as soon as we start the boss fireballing into a pyroblast okay we've used up all of our stacks we're going to shifting power, use our instant cast, try and get some crits in. Hopefully we kill him before the first int intermission. I don't think we will. I don't think we have that kind of damage, but we do have some serious damage going through. I wasted my uh, fire blast there. That's kind of disappointing, but I do have some crits coming through here. I got the scorch. That should be him dead before the first intermission. Okay, cool. Nice. Ooh, I got new bracers. 246 versus 194. 21 more intellect. <laughs> 
Good thing I saved up all those bags. Totally, totally useful. I guess they're, they they come in handy before I have all of this stuff. Into Phoenix Flames here. Into these. Try and kick these. Why am I scorching? Why am I, what am I casting Scorch for? My brain just turned off for a second. I should be Scorching now and then a Pyroblast to finish this thing off. Damage done, the healer did the most with his Fire Breath. <laughs> I mean, I respect it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and knock this guy in that direction. Doesn't really do much of a knockback. I guess I'll flame strike over there, right underneath where they need to go. I'll kick this. I'm going to use my shield here because I'm going to hit by that. Okay, we're going to shifting power to get some stacks. I used one of my things, um, one of my fire blasts because I can do that while I'm casting. I used combustion here as well. Use my phoenix flames and focus in on this guardian. Okay, I couldn't get much else done. And pyroblast that guy and that should be the group done. Okay, I kind of struggling to like at this pace of gameplay, it's kind of a struggle to commentate it. And I like it. I like it a lot. Like it's very enjoyable to play, but it's also very hard to commentate. Okay, I do have decurse if some of these curses go through. I can kick one. I'll have to decurse. No, they got knocked up. Now I was focusing on CC and did like zero damage there. So that's fun. I'm going to go through and start this. Maybe I should have done that sooner, but oh well. Hey, I recovered this thing. Now I need to defeat Colonel Lord Deus. Look how hot he is, though. Just, lo just look at him. Tell me he's not hot. Come on. So I know you're lying. We're looking at that time reaver. We're going to ruin his day with a bunch of pyroblasts. I've used up all of my crits. We're going to spell steal from him because we get a bit of haste from that. Keep spell stealing from him. We're going to scorch now because I have nothing else to cast. We're going to pull absolutely everything. We're going to shifting power here. Hopefully not take aggro. Use one of my fire pyroblasts or fire blasts, whatever. Now these I should spell steal. At least try to. Okay. Try to get some scorches in. Spell steal this guy. Spell steal this guy. Uh, that only lasts for a couple of seconds, though, so it's kind of a waste for me to even do it. I should have used my group AoE defensive, but oh well. I'm going to time warp here on the last boss. May as well. I'm going to flame strike. It's not going to really do anything. The flame patch is not going to be there by the time this guy's active. The reason I did that was because I just had, uh, whatchamacallit, a hot streak available. So we're going to cast a fireball into combustion. That did not work out because I didn't use the combustion quickly enough. We're going to use the AoE defensive here. No, we're not. I'm going to hold on to it. Wait, what did I say? Oh, never mind. Oh my god, I'm so lost in the sauce. What the heck am I even doing? Shifting power, trying to get some of these back. Scorch the bejesus out of him. Wing Buffett coming through. What button is my my AoE defensive on. It's on shift mouse button. No, alt mouse button four. Okay, that explains why I used mirror image instead of mass barrier like a dum dum. Whatever, man. <laughs> I messed that up. You got new pants. They are quite a bit better than these, but once I level up, I should be good. I'll grab a ring though. Crit haste. And this is haste mastery neck. I'll grab the ring. I don't have any rings that are heirlooms. I'm going to leave instance group because it's just DPS left and that's not going to increase the speed at which I get dungeons done. So I'm just going to leave. And that was Uldamon. And also that was me trying to get used to fast paced dungeons because holy crap, that was rough. That was definitely lost in the sauce like i got some interrupts in sure yeah that's fun but for the most part i felt like i was trying to catch up to what i was doing with my commentary but oh well anyway talk to you in the next dungeon Ooh, very nice a Neltharis run i gotta make sure i loot the mobs so that i can actually complete this quest and i might need to ninja pull some mobs near the last boss in order to get enough of these guys killed so that i get the quest completion and give arcane intellect because there's a warlock in the group but just in general no reason not to give arcane intellect there's always the healer and the healer can always use the arcane intellect i'm flame striking on two targets that's not exactly ideal actually but we have scorches that we can feed into the other one never mind this one's about to be in scorch range so we're going to start casting scorch even though he wasn't at that moment in scorch range this way my friend got to keep in mind that some people have not done these dungeons at all yet so they might just not know we're going to spell steals these shields because that's a lot of damage we don't need to do one of them got turned into something we're going to shifting power and use one of our charges of what the heck is this thing called fire blast because we were going to overcap on the charges. We managed to just power brute force our way through that. Honestly, I didn't kick a single one of the molten cores and that's something I should have done. But I have these massive shields that are absorbing ridiculous amounts of damage for like two minutes. So I think I'm fine. Let's see what the paladin pulls. We're going to precast a flame strike right over there. Okay, we're going to spell steal these again just because it's a huge absorb shield like you saw. I'm looking for a scorch on this guy because I ran out of stuff to cast for my guaranteed crits. And now another scorch and won't get the second can scorch in but i do have an instant cast available i'm going to actually cast the instant cast at the lava snail just so i don't waste my uh 
one crit. I'll steal these guys yet again just to get rid of their giant shields. I'm going to Scorch. That's a bad call. I'm going to Shifting Power. I think that's better. There we go. And kick that Molten Core. Uh, just going to try and get my crits in, and that is it. I have a lot of these shields, man. I'm a very, very beefy mage. <laughs> there is not much that can happen to me. Look at this. 17,000, 17,000, 17,000. All of them are taking, like, no damage. This one's 112,000 for some reason. Absolutely insane. Oh, we got bonked backwards from the little interaction that happens here. Uh, I'm just going to use this because it's a long ass dungeon and I might need to use that anyway. Why do I not have combustion running? I should have had combustion running from the start. Fireball during the combustion. Maybe get one more fireball in with a crit. Good. We're going to scorch and fire blast. Scorch and fire blast into a pyro blast and the boss is dead. Very nice. Cool. I don't have Danny some. I can't. Somebody commented that there is a macro that you can use in order to... I'm just going to give... Uh, can I give you? Yes, I can. Very good. Giving people slow fall. Use your movement speed so you can slow fall across. There we go. Everyone has slow fall. You can go, bud. I got you. I got you. And he gave himself levitate, even though he already has slow fall. No trust. No trust. My shields are running out, so I won't be immortal anymore in a second. But keep those flame strikes going. I'm going to shifting power here. We're just going to use one of these fire, uh, fire blasts just because I can. Okay, there's the journal notes. I of really want to pull more of these guys than the tank is going to. I trust we'll have enough. I'll trust. I'll trust. Either way, I'm going to do so many of these dungeons that I'm going to eventually just have to do this again. And I'll just get the quest completion then if I don't get it now. Cast my flame barrier. Okay. I'm going to precast my flame strike over there. Is he going to stop over there? I don't know. Oh, this guy yeeted himself out of the flame strike. <laughs> he was like, nah, I ain't having none of that. These guys are low enough for the scorch guaranteed crits. I think I can get another one in there from this guy. Very nice. Don't have to use my instant casts. Tank's doing his best to try and skip as many of these as possible. That's fine. I'm going to kick that one. Phoenix Flame here. Flame Strike on top of them. More Flame Strikes. There's a Scorch target. Very good. More Flame Fire Blasts into Flame Strikes. Easy mode. I should finish that one off. I'm going to Shifting Power here. Not before I use my Fire Blast in order to get that. And we are capped. I'm going to Combustion and start spamming Pyro Blasts out the wazoo. Just going to get a quick score. Scorch in. Never mind, that scorch was wasted because my combustion was up. Grounding spear is on me. I'm just going to step away. I need to blink across and stun him. There we go. Quite easily handled with a blink. I gotta admit, pretty nice. And he's gone. So the idea is, oh, nice. I got a trinket, actually. Holy crap. I guess it is a lot better than the... Hmm. But not for long, right? Because my... As soon as I hit... I did hit 61. Never mind. I have a talent point. I should use a talent point, like deep impact. I don't know. Do I do I take that? I don't know. Anyway, I'm into shifting power here. I guess we're just stopping and fighting these guys. That's okay. Oh, I just used a pyro blast on a two targets. Not a pyro blast. Sorry, a flame strike on two targets. Okay, paladins going in. Okay, we managed to pull absolutely everything. Oh, they're on me now. I'm gonna hit them with the confusion spell. It's super effective. And what I mean by that is mirror images just to drop aggro. I keep completely neglecting mirror images when I have aggro. I don't know why that is the case. I just, I'm not used to playing mage and using mage defensives. As you could tell in the last dungeon where I just could not figure out what button my mass barrier was on, which I really should use. I think we're gonna pull this. Yeah, tank was running straight at him, so I started precasting my Pyroblast. Get some Scorches in. But yeah, I, I just could not figure out where my mass barrier is, and I really want to use it here on Warlord Sarga. No, on what's the name of the Forge Master? Once we're up here, then I can see the Forge Master boss. There it is. Forge Master. Yeah, that's Gorek. <laughs> I was looking for Gorek. Couldn't think of it. We're going to kick that to make it move in with these guys. Rent's really expensive, guys. Rent's really expensive. It's got to move in. I'm going to use Shifting Power here on top of everyone. Oh, I did you see that? I flame striked on top of this hook. I can see this being an issue with my camera placement. <laughs> okay, I got the Iron Torch aggroed onto myself. Looking for Scorches. Did not manage to get my Scorch in. The Bone Splitters, I will try to interrupt by using my knockback, but I don't think they're going to cast anything of consequence just yet. Okay. Do we take the big guy? We're taking the big guy. Do I combustion the big guy? I don't think so, no. I got lucky with a crit on the fireball there. Pretty happy about that. I'll use my defensive here. I used it way too late. Did I though? Or did it just do no damage? I think I used it late. I don't know. So I just need a research tome and i'm assuming that's from the last boss cool should i share this with some that one's not on the quest i has completed that quest okay well i was looking at the quest completions i could have been doing a bunch of damage so maybe i should focus up <laughs> not that i have to really try for leveling dungeons 
It's pretty easy. It's pretty chill. That's why I like leveling. It's a nice way to sort of learn a little bit about your class before you start playing it. I'll get my shifting power in here. I'll use one of my fire blasts. There's two targets now. We're gonna scorch into pyro blast. Just keep scorching, try and get one set up. Yeah, here we go. We got a hot streak set up for the next. Paladin's jumping down. No, it's the arms warrior who jumped down. Okay. I guess you really wanted to skip that. So you wanted to show the paladin how to do it. Went to scorch here. Did we just, what was that? Oh no, I just randomly, got, <laughs> I got very confused. I got time warp randomly from my one ability. Okay. We're just going to use a uh, mass barrier here. Oh, I'm so confused. I wasted a good chunk of my, I'm going to stand over here. So I don't throw that at people. I'm going to scorch. What am I doing? I got so lost in the sauce here for a second because the boss got pulled like that. I'm so confused. I'm going to shifting power here because I'm out of charges of pretty much anything. Try and get my crits through. More crits. Scorches. Guaranteed scorches now. That was painfully bad, but somehow I did damage. I think it's still the virtue of being a lobby. Uh, I'm going to wait for these guys to peace out. This guy's going to try and jump over, but he's going to pull if he does that. And now we can jump over. They just need to move a little bit away. If you just jump over this bit, you can completely avoid it. There's also a possibility of using the warlock gate to jump down or jump up from down wait i think this is my guild leader <laughs> they're also leveling it looks like <laughs> What a coincidence. Like that name looks familiar. I joined this guild because I got randomly invited to it. I don't I don't know. I don't know them at all. I joined the guild because it's nice to have uh, extra mounted movement speed and it's also nice to have shorter cooldown hearthstone. Not that I really need hearthstone with portals, but Lord knows I'm going to forget. I tried to blink there, even though I gave some I tried to also give someone slow fall. I think I gave the warrior slow fall. Yes, I did. I'm going to use my shield here before I get my socks blown off by these guys. No shifting power here. The blaze wing is after me because I did a bunch of crits to it. It doesn't like that. We got our guaranteed crits here. Big crits and a scorch and a pyro blast. Never mind. We didn't manage to cast the pyro blast. We're going to blink over this because this does damage to us. I don't need it withering down my shield. I'm going to reapply my shield because I can. Uh, cast scorch is going to try to get into position. We're going to kick this and uh, should have flame strike there. Oh man, I just used my combustion like a dumb dumb. I should not have used my combustion. going to fireball. Oh man, that's so bad. I can't interrupt these. I don't my interrupts off cooldown. There it is. Okay. That was messy. I don't know. Why did I come bust there? I didn't mean to bust there. And to, I guess, just start immediately with the full rotation. We're going to shifting power here. Get out of that shockwave. Where are the... There's no treasures. I guess there's no treasures on this difficulty in general. Okay, you just blast the boss and that's it. I'm going to root this thing in place. The warrior's just kind of standing in that. He doesn't really care. There's the shield. Okay. Let's grab one of these. It just wasn't there for a while. I got the orb. We're gonna throw the orb at her. Let's try and get our crits in and she's gone. As a research tome, I'm gonna head back to the entrance of the dungeon because that's where we turn in the quest. Pretty fun run, even though I am very much lost in the sauce, if it wasn't readily apparent from my commentary. <laughs> I think it may just have been faster to teleport out and teleport back in, but I'm always worried that people will leave and then I won't be able to teleport back in. Although it looks like my guild leader decided that that was the call. Uh, it's not that much faster, I guess, since I am here and they did that. I guess I'll grab the other ring now because I don't need either of these slots because I got heirlooms. So yeah, let's grab that, equip it, and leave instance group and queue for another dungeon. One thing that you will notice though is the fact that we are leveling much, much slower than we were with uh, TBC and Wrath of Lich King dungeons. This is just by design. Blizzard wants you to experience the zones and the dungeons and whatnot for quite a bit before you hit max level. Kind of annoying if you ask me, but what can I do? I'm just going to queue up. The queues are very long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do some world quests and just some quests in general. Try and get some experience that way just to speed this up a little bit because otherwise I'm going to be spending like three days leveling this character and I don't really like that. Hopefully you don't miss any levels from me just questing. Hopefully all my levels happen in the dungeon so that you can see them. But yeah, I'm going to go and quest between dungeons and I'll talk to you in the next dungeon. Ooh, an Algathar Academy. Very nice. I think there's a quest in here, isn't there? There should be a quest in here. I thought there was a quest in here. Never mind then. That's fine. Whatever. Keep your quests to yourself. The bronze dragon flight will give us a haste buff. Yes, very nice. Haste increased by 5%. I'll take that. Try and apply my buff to everyone. I think I just did. Good. I'm going to mount up and no, I didn't. Three out of five. Who's missing it? There we go. Now everyone has it, I think. Let's Take a quick look here. I guess we're going down the tree path. Big boy pulls. Let's go says slaughter. 
That's a cool name. I mean, it's a very edgy name, but it's kind of cool too. I gotta admit. Just gonna give them a give them a bit of a hand here with the pulls. Okay, I'm going to shifting power. Use one of my flame strikes. I'm going to <laughs> ice block. Go out of the ice block. Flame strikes. Keep dropping the flame strikes. Phoenix flames. Okay, we got some scorch crits coming through. Okay, now we're good to pyro blast because there's fewer targets. This thing just jumping around all over the place. Crazy. We got some more scorches coming through for the guaranteed crits. Very nice. That was cool as heck. That was really fun i don't know i'm scorching this thing i should at least fireball it there we go and i'll scorch now because it'll go beneath it and beneath 30 percent below 30 percent beneath sounds weird okay and combustion here i messed up my combustion i didn't finish casting my fireball i guess is what i did i don't know that was weird i keep doing that i did that in the oldamon run as well fireball and we're going to use whatchamacallit's shifting power here i overcapped on uh, whatever the heck that was fire blast that's unfortunate but we have our scorches coming through through to help us I'm gonna scorch into a fi fire blast into a pyro blast into a scorch a double scorch it looks like but that's okay loot the boss and move on still doing a considerable considerable amount of damage oh slaughter is an affliction warlock that's pretty cool you don't see those often I'm gonna stand here and precast my pyro blast until the tank shows up there's the tank we're going to get that pyro blast out once it hits i'll use an ability uh the reason i wanted to hit it to hit first was because i wasn't sure if it had crit or not once i know that it has crit oh expel intruders i need to get in the corner here uh that's the tank gone <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he got blasted out of the- No, that wasn't the tank, it was the DK. Okay, okay, never mind, good, we're good. They're both orcs, so I couldn't tell which one of them was the tank and which one wasn't. Should have looked for the shield, because it's a prot warrior, but I didn't really. The thought escaped me in the moment. It's out of line of sight, and I don't have blink to get in line of sight, but I guess I'll precast the flame strike. Yep, before anyone even gets there. Cool, more flame strikes. There we go. Big AoEs with the flame strikes. Still got flame strikes going. I still have my shield. Uh, Meteor, I need to use Meteor more. I haven't used Meteor a single time. Oh my god, there's probably somebody already typed who has already typed out a comment on this video. Is like, just use your Meteor, man. I'm gonna shifting power here. No, I'm not, because I'm gonna get knocked back. <laughs> uh, that sucked. <laughs> that really sucked. I'm waiting for my fire blast so I can actually do that. I can't do anything to interrupt that i'm just jumping around in circles trying to wait for some sort of instant cast crit like an idiot because my uh, my fire my shifting power got interrupted i'm going to scorch here because the bird's going to be low hp soon i'm just going to keep scorching here i don't want to use my power blast on it because that'll finish it off okay i'll grab that and then we use the extra action button that we get when we are in here yeet that thing well i should have pyro blasted that bird because i've my hot streak already ran out. I forgot about that little intermission thing we had to do before the boss shows up. But that's okay. Uh, I am just going to summon Danny first of all for my damage buff, and then I'm going to use Combustion here as well as Time Warp. Why did I use a Phoenix Flames? Nobody knows. It's a great mystery. Just a quick scorch while I have the guaranteed crits still rolling. I'm going to Shifting Power. Use one of our Fire Blasts while we're still Shifting Power. Okay. Should we be doing this? I do not know. Maybe we should. Uh, can I grab one of the orbs and use it. Heck it, I'll use it. There's another one of the orbs. Need one more orb. Where are people going? They're going the other way? No, don't go the other way. You're supposed to go this way to stun it, I think. I don't know. I've never done this on like actual Mythic Plus. I only ever breezed through it in normals. Oh, I'm fire locked. I forgot. Okay, that's a thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be forgetting that, aren't I? Well, there's that. That was a shit show of a fight, but I seem to have done decent damage, so I'm quite happy with that. Warlock convincingly leading the damage. Oh, I never turned off guild chat in here. I just turned off the officer chat and then guild announcements. I'll turn that off now. Don't need to look at guild chat. I have the separate tab for that, so that'll work just fine. Tanks going ham. We're going to kick the surge, keep them moving to knock this back. That was a failure. An abject failure because I just slowed him down for no reason. Uh, get out of that. Still keep getting my instant cast through. Then I'll shift the power as soon as we're done. I just need to move out of the swirlies. That's gonna suck. I knew I could tank that, I guess, so I didn't feel bad tanking it, but I should be more mindful of when there's shit going on and I can't use shifting power. Or I guess I could use shift uh, ice flows in the middle of that shifting power just to shift a little bit. <laughs> Get it? Because it's shifting power and I said shift instead of move a little bit. You know, you know what I mean? It's pretty good, right? That's pretty funny. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for forcing you to go through this. I'm surprised you're still here. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. Okay. Okay, we're going to use Mass Barrier, help out our healer a little bit here. This is kind of hectic, trying to do some interrupts. Okay, got my instant cast crits. Okay, that was a bit messy, but the uh, 
The mass barrier helped out a little bit, I think. Two minute cooldown on that bad boy. Not bad. I'm gonna use my defensive here. I am looking at the textbooks. I'll focus one, target the other, and try to interrupt the monotonous whatever the hex. Uh, I'm gonna... Can I sheep that? I can't even sheep that. It's, the, it's an invalid target. Okay. Now all I can do really is damage. And I'm going to ice block just to give myself a bit of time. I'm going to blink through just because there was a bunch of shit on me. And I'm going to shifting power here. I'm going to use some flame strikes or fire blasts, whatever the heck. We're going to interrupt that one that's being channeled. The monotonous lectures puts people to sleep, so it's important to interrupt it. Okay, the thing spawns in the middle, so I'm just going to stand on the side. When does Nanny keep despawning? I think it's because of the jumps, like, across the platforms. So I think that's what despawns Danny. I need to figure out... I think I started talking about it and then interrupted myself, but there's a macro that summons a pet and doesn't actually dismiss the pet, so you can just macro that onto an ability, and it'll keep summoning the pet whenever you don't have it. I guess I should absorb some of these. Uh, do I combustion here, or do I save it for last boss? I guess I save it for last boss. It's not like this... It's not like any of them are hard, and I really need to plan out my cooldowns too much. Mana bomb, I'm just gonna get away. I guess I'll grab this. Yoink that, yoink that, yoink that. Okay. I just wasted my phoenix flames. Okay, scorch into one of these. Keep scorching. Okay, I didn't know that was part of the boss fight. First time I saw that, the little swirlies that happened. Because usually this thing's dead before I could see it. <laughs> Platinum star band, isn't that something we're looking for? Uh, for like the Tatu Kiaka in Iskara would be interested in this sort of thing. I'm just gonna knock everything back so that they don't cast for free. Trying to get my scorch in so I can get another instant cast through. There we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice indeed. I'm getting some stuff to sell, I guess. This is 20 gold, this is 20 gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. You got 41% crit with very little crit rating. That's pretty cool. I guess it's from all the different passives that we have as a fire mage. Pretty nice. And 30% haste. Not much versatility though. That's supposedly one of our best stats. I'm looking at the invoker. Is they're going to cast that? I think they want to keep going with the big pull. I'm going to do this. Go in, they say. Okay, yeah, that, that works. I'm going to cast my instant casts. I'm going to... I can't even ice block. I'm going to mass barrier again. Do a ring of frost here. So as they enter, they just get messed up. I'm going to do a meteor. I'm going to do invisibility. I'm just dying because we don't have the CC for this. I don't know. I'm trying to. I should have used my dragon's breath and tried to get more instant casts in and a shifting power. I doubt this DK is going to battle res me or this uh, warlock either. So maybe I should have already released. But I guess the healer will at least res me, right? Right? And it's a massive bummer because I was hoping to do a bunch of damage in this pull, but oh well. What can you do? I guess I still did a do a bunch of damage. Astral Nova? What the heck is Astral Nova? Thank you. I'm just gonna loot this real quick in case there's something useful on the bodies. That took me forever to do, but oh well. Okay, let's do a fireball into combustion, into some instant casts. That worked out beautifully. I'm just going to stand on the side, shifting power. That should still be kidding, hitting the boss. Beautiful. Now we got to spam fireballs, basically, because we got nothing left. No, I have this and I have this. I just need those on my bars here so I can actually see them and remember to use them. Because I've been quite good about using the correct, um, using my weak cars actually, instead of just kind of staring at my bars. Because I used to just stare at my bars because I didn't use weak cars for 17 years from, of playing this game. So it's kind of weird to get used to. But now I stare at my weak cars, which is good. Oh, we got a two-hander. Oh, they want to queue. Oh, I want to queue, dude. I want to queue. Please, let's queue. If you don't want to queue, just leave. Can we queue again? Yes, please. No, the tank left this well. I guess the tank just needs the healer. He doesn't care about the DPS. There's plenty of DPS queuing up. Oh, well, let's continue doing world quests, I guess. Talk to you in the next dungeon. Oh boy, I just narrowly escaped death by joining this dungeon group, which seems to be underway. Okay, I'll take that. Just means we're going to be done quicker. I don't know if somebody left or somebody got kicked, but we're going to we're gonna find out, I guess. Or maybe we won't. I don't know. I'm going to get a scorch in here. Fire blast. Make sure I get some crits in. going to look for some interrupts here, like on that thing. With three targets, we can use fire strike or flame strike. Whatever, man. I'm just going to keep getting the abilities wrong forever. Just accept that at this point. <laughs> ah, the shaman's complaining about pulling unnecessary things. We're going to time warp here. Just going to try and put down as many of these as possible. I'll kick the heal, I guess. And now we're shifting power because our combustion just ran out. That's okay. Keep spamming. Now we got scorches ready. So we got that source of crits available. Okay, it's just one target. So we switch to pyroblast and that's it. That's the pull. Starting to feel like I actually know what I'm doing on this 
this class. It only took me, what, 62 levels? I mean, I feel like I haven't done much different. It's just that I sort of kind of understand it a bit better now. And I think the commentary is becoming a little bit clearer. At times it goes a little bit pear shaped, but what can I do? It's a weird pull, but we'll make it work. Getting lots of extra crits from just, uh, well, not crits, but hot streak procs from uh, the, whatchamacallit, it's the flame strike itself, which is really, really good because there's a talent that makes your flame strike give you um, hot streak thingies at the same crit chance as your crit strike. So you have basically the same as using like a fireball or something, right? I don't know if I uh, explained that very well, but I, I kind of, I, yeah. Anyway, sometimes when you fire flame strike, it's like a crit. Sure, it can crit, obviously, but the crit of the ability itself does not count towards the uh, hot streak. It has to be the proc thing that's the same as whatever. I don't, I don't know why they made it like that. I think it's because the flame strike just hits so many targets. One of them is bound to get a crit. So I don't know. Maybe that's why. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't read Blizzard's mind. Okay, I kind of messed up here. Bring it to shifting power. I need to blink out. Maybe I should have used uh, ice flows. I need to actually start using using that ability. I'm just going to use it randomly to cast fireballs on the move or something, and then maybe I will start remembering to actually use it when it matters. Let's use it now, and we'll cast a fireball. And it's just for one cast, right? So then I need to use another one to use the next fireball. Yeah, let's use the fireball here. It's kind of working out, actually. Maybe it's not a bad idea to use it for fireball. Cool. We're we'll scorch this guy because he's starting to lose his health. We'll keep scorching him, fire blasting him, and I'll funnel that into the next guy. Next guy just got below 30%, so we got easy free crits from them. We're going to spam some scorches into these things hopefully get a crit we did get a crit i'm gonna pyroblast freak Precast with a combustion near the end just so I get my guaranteed crits. I already had heating up available, so I don't have to actually do anything else. We're going to shifting power here. Very cool. It feels like the combo is you shifting power at the end of your combustion. Very cool. I use my dragon's breath. The grasping wines is coming through, so that means I need to get the heck away from him. I can just scorch, which is perfect because he's in scorch range. Somebody gets eaten on normal difficulty on mythic plus, you do have to avoid them, sort of. Ah, uh, that did not. Thing. I don't actually CC them with that. I just root them. So that's kind of useless. I don't need to root them. I need to CC them to stop them from casting, which I can only really do with my blast wave or my dragon's breath. And I was not in range to button to do either of those. Just explaining my thought process. Oh, dragon racers purse 500 gold. I'll take that. Let's do this uh, little tech here with the ice flows just to start using ice flows. And I'm not sure if I'm, I have it on a good keybind or not. Shifting power here. Hopefully that's hitting the big guy. It is hitting the big guy. Very good. You got scorches available now. Now I'm going to channel scorches or uh, funnel scorches into pyroblasts on these two remaining guys just to finish them off at the same time. Very nice. Oh, there's loot here. I'll take loot. I'll take any loot I can get. Okay, we are running that side. That's not where we go. We go this way. Very good. The tank knows what's up. The group is relatively new. Hasn't done the dungeon before. That's fine, though. We don't seem to have pulled anything. We're going to have to wait for these two. Okay, we're going to the right and we're going to pull this group or are we going to skip? We're trying to skip. I guess we'll skip tank pulled anyway. It looks like the tank doesn't know the skip all that well fire blasted them i'm going to meteor i need to keep using meteor after this dungeon i'm going to take some time to actually adjust my uh weak auras. like i'm missing meteor here i really want meteor on the bars just to remind me that the spell exists because right now i do not remember at all like i just completely forget about its existence okay well let's uh use combustion here i'm just uh, pyro blasting the boss i don't really care about the rest of the mobs okay and we shifting power here beautiful we keep getting some crits the traps are coming through. We'll... Okay. I was going to say we should put them closer to the cave in case the hyenas come from the cave, but the boss is basically dead, so we don't need to do that. We got a Tusker Bone Necklace. Don't need that because I have this uh, thingamajig. I keep forgetting that I have that, that it has an on use that heals you. I just, I never use that. I've never utilized that before. I'm going to interrupt next, whatever it is that it casts, which will be Feign Death. Oh, I don't think it's feigning though. Um, okay, Flame Strike here. Scorches, maybe? A little Scorches. Scorchy Scorch. There we go. I'm going to precast Pyroblasts. Oh, no. Okay. This guy precast a Wrath, which is our guy. Okay. Our guy? Our Balanced Druid, I think. Who is not in Moonkin form at all, it looks like. They seem to be rather new. That's okay, though. Yeah, they're just kind of standing there chilling, living their best life. I'm going to spell steal that. I don't know what it does. What does it do? Magic damage done or whatever. I don't know. I'll take that. I'm going to shield myself. Mm -hmm. 
The tank just kind of pieced out. He doesn't want anything to do with this, but somebody keeps pulling. To spell steal all of these. Very nice. Physical damage done increased by whatever amount. That's kind of useless. Tank wants to skip to the right. Let's try and do that. I can't actually CC the rod hexer because it's uh, too high level, I think. Yeah, we pulled it, so we're going to try and get aggro on it just so we can have it come over to the tank. Used up all my instant cast. I'm going to do shifting power here. I'll use my shield at the end of that shifting power. Start using my instant cast for the crits and there's just one enemy left so we're just going to scorch that and try and get a crit in we can precast our pyroblast from inside here we're just going to hope that it crits it didn't crit but we can just use our mm, i'm not sure how i feel about that i used my um, combustion when i didn't really have any stacks of the instant casts available so i'm not a huge fan of that i also just wasted my fire blast because i didn't have anything else other than that now we need to switch over to the totem maybe get a scorch off of it no luck it died too quickly by the rather have it die too quick than not dying fast enough i just stood in that i chanced it a bit too much ice flows so i can fireball i can still keep fireballing this okay we managed to get our crits in i'm going to aoe shield i think i did that in time i'm going to shifting power to get some stacks max so i can get my instant casts through uh scorch range so we're going to combine scorches here actually why am i wasting my time casting scorches they don't do much damage phoenix flames into scorch rot bursting totem but we stay on boss because the boss is almost dead and there we go that is this dungeon brackenhide hollow it took me way too long to remember a dungeon that i've done so many times in season two no loot does the group want to stay together does the tank want to stay together yes no maybe so yes the tank does want to stay together so i guess i'm not making weak cars but i'm getting faster cues and i'll take that any day of the week oh we got cloth the uh, item transmog i'll take that anyway i'll talk to you in the next dungeon okay we got an eltheris uh, since i've already done an eltheris i'm just going to skip through it i'm not going to actually show you and i'll talk to you in the next next dungeon i guess well there we go that's uh, another dungeon done. Everyone jumping over to this direction because that's where the chest usually is. <laughs> oh, everyone wants to stay together. That's cool. The priest was giving me power infusion. That felt great. Finally feeling what it's like to have power infusion on a caster. Kind of like it. It's got us level 63. Still a little bit annoyed. I'm not using meteor anywhere nearly enough. Like it's nowhere near. Like it's nowhere on my damage meters. I think I only used it once or twice in that dungeon and I did quite a bit. We got another one that we already did, which is Al Algathar Academy. So I'm just going to skip this one as well. And I'll talk to you in the next next dungeon maybe i don't know no coup defensive very nice well, let me rebuff real quick somebody lost the buff somehow yes we have no coup defensive i'm pretty happy about that it's a pretty fun dungeon i enjoy doing it the tank is absolutely insane keeps doing ginormous pulls super super fun to play with them i'm glad that we get to do a dungeon we haven't done yet with them because that way i get to show you these crazy pulls that the tank's doing honestly they're really really fun like this obviously isn't a you know particularly crazy pull what he would what he could do here is a bunch of uh different group oh somebody's doing a bunch of different groups all right i'm going to give barrier to the group um i don't know about this one chief that's a bit much even for me um i didn't manage to get that disruptive shout interrupted so hopefully nobody got interrupted by it ah uh, I just, I messed up. Arcane lock, okay. Well, I'd rather be arcane locked than fire locked. Uh, this is such a shit show. I'm going to polymorph one of these guys, the horn sounder, I guess. I, I, I don't know what to do here. The healer's struggling to heal us all up. Uh, ice blocking is not going to do much for me. I'm going to knock this guy back so he can't rally the clan, and I'll kick this intro disruptive shout. I was like in, in panic mode there. I couldn't really do damage because everything is really spread out. So like, what, I can pyroblast one dude. But I seem to have still done decent damage by just you know existing which is nice but i guess this gets the boss down that was a very quick way to do it i don't know who gathered everything up but i appreciate it that was one of the crazy pulls i was talking about okay waiting for the tank to go in tank is going in i'm just recasting my pyroblast for some god forsaken reason i don't know i don't have uh what's it called combustion to use but that's okay i'll just keep blasting here i used my uh shifting power to try and regain some of these charges well not try but actually just regain the charges uh, that one's ready to fire i'm gonna head over in that direction i'm gonna use ice flows there's the eruption i'm still casting i'm using this to interrupt him before he kills us okay i think i managed to i didn't get there quite as quickly as i would like to but i got there in the end and that's all that matters nice 
There we go. We mount up now and we head towards the next boss, which is the wind thing. The tornado. The nado. The shark nado? Question mark. Usually whenever I do this dungeon, it's a shit show on the last boss, but this group seems to be like pretty well acquainted with the dungeons. Just a bunch of blasters, really. So I think they know how to do the, the skip properly on the last boss. I'm just going to fly in a circle here, wait for the tank to show up. There we go. There's the tank. Accidentally used two fire, obla fire blasts. That's okay, though. Use another one to get my thing. That's okay. I'm just going to scorch. I'm going to blink through, grab this, kick that storm below the bolt. The reason I went to pick up those orbs is because I do 30% more damage now, I think. No, 15%. So five per orb. 15% more damage is worth me jumping in and taking a bit of damage for it. Just keep dropping my instant cast crits on these guys. Tempest is coming through. I don't have anything for it. Tank stunned that. That's good. I did have my knockback for it. Uh, that was a lie. I did have something for it, but I just didn't think of it in the moment. I didn't have my dragon's breath and I didn't have my... I, um, interrupt so I just assumed I had nothing but that's the wrong assumption to make I need to remember that I have another ability that I can use in that situation uh, what am I supposed to do here now uh, shifting power I think okay we have the tempest somebody please get that okay the knockback got it that's fine I'm not too worried about it actually going through I just wanted to get my full channel trying to get these scorches through that group is not going to get pulled but there's something I can loot here I want to loot everything I can get that little bit of extra gold I have 3k gold now so I can actually just buy the gloves that I'm missing I think gloves are the last item that I don't have just yet. I'm going to Meteor here. Hopefully that does hit everything. Scorch is coming through. That's guaranteed crits. Pyroblast because there's only two targets, so it's not worth flame striking. Very nice. Uh, can I actually get the buff from these? I'll grab the buff and then we'll head over to the boss. I think, yes, I get to keep the buff. That's good. Uh, I guess precast fireball into some instant cast crits. Okay, we're definitely doing big boy pull here, so it's worth the fact that I use the combustion. I mean, it's a uh, boss fight so combustion is always a good idea i'm going to use mass barrier here because everyone's going to take damage i'm going to use ice flows and cast my uh... okay that's a lot of orbs i'm just gonna go and collect all these orbs can i dispel boss i can dispel boss okay yeah i'll do that i don't know this boss fight very well so i'm just a little bit confused as to what i can and can't do in it meteor on top of his head i think i would imagine this is a good spot to have the split damage meteor talent rather than the just regular one okay spread out from people i can do that dispel the boss i can also do that well spell steal the boss in fact what does that even do really attack speed increased <laughs> i keep getting hit him with the stick buffs instead of spell power buffs but I guess, you know, I'll take what I can get. Hectic, hectic. I like it. Picasso. Just waiting for the tank to go in so I can actually land in and use my, like, uh, the thing that does damage when you land. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Okay, this is another big pull, it looks like. I'm going to use my... Never mind. Okay, I did use it. What the heck? What happened? Here's my soul. I'm going to grab my soul so I do full damage. Otherwise, I do reduce damage. I don't have a kick available for this, but Scorches are coming through. And Pyroblast finishes it off. Okay, that was hectic. I, I think those were two groups at the same time some kind of multi multi-group pull okay get that speed buff land on him didn't manage to get it wasn't fast enough okay definitely overdoing it with the uh, burst here tank doesn't have time to actually gather aggro which i respect like it's it's normal for him to not be able to get aggro right right there uh why is our tank dying is the question here can i actually root those it doesn't look like i can i'm going to kick that because it's going to be harder to survive than melee attacks for the red paladin and the red paladin is the one that's actually tanking right now okay our tank died somehow and i'm not 100 percent sure how where, where is our tank well he's all the way back there now but i guess that's a thing they're going to pull these if they don't move back yeah I'm just going to stand over here and wait for the tank to come over. Tank's a little bit upset, it seems like. No, he's just taking his time getting over here. That's fine. He's heading towards this boss. He should turn towards his right. All right, there's the monk. Let's see. Is he going to pull this next group? And yes, we are. There we go. Very nice. Okay, I managed to get all of my abilities out. I'm going to use shifting power. Try and get out of those orbs. I think I got hit by one of the orbs. This is my soul. We're going to go pick it up. Give the monk an intellect buff in the middle of combat for some reason the monk doesn't need it if they were a mist we were monk yes i guess i'll use my meteor here okay, i should have used it earlier i just forget that it exists i really need to make those weak auras but if i want to make the weak auras i have to stop dungeon spamming and right now i really want to dungeon spam and get as much as i can out of this full pre-made well pre-made is the wrong word to use but just a pug that stayed together really because ya boy desperate for them levels this dungeon's really long actually now that i think about it might be a bit of a pain in the booty hole to edit but then again i only have to do one of each and with a tank that pulls as bloodthirstily as this one i think we good i guess i flame strike precast 
flame strike precast there we go i'm only going to use pyro blasts here because i really don't have any reason to aoe with flame strike it doesn't do more damage than a single pyro blast would just getting my damage through we should stack on top of each other that way just stack on top of each other that way okay yeah i'm just gonna have to figure it out what people should do here is stack on top of each other if it wasn't clear from my instruction just a second ago but the idea is uh, you get to basically like they all originate from you but they don't hit you right so if you all stack up there's no way for them to hit you there we go they're all dead well they're dead they share health pool or whatever anyway lots of power infusions as you can see i just left the window open so i don't have to keep getting like an extra window here from the i think they have like a weak arrow or something that just whispers the target of their power infusion that they got power infusion which is in my opinion really useless <laughs> or i guess some people have the whispers show up in the window that they uh that they generally use so maybe it's not useless like when you see it pop up but honestly i would not notice that i have a little weak arrow that like dances left and right because when danny and i play together she always pi me even though i'm sometimes not the best pi target but hey that's how we communicate affection through pis and blessings of protection when i play my paladin and blessings of sacrifice <laughs> and off heels i guess <laughs> So we need to take care of Batak here. I think Batak does a uh, some kind of fear screen. Okay, we're pulling absolutely everything. That's fair. I'm going to try and use Meteor. We're just going to get moved out of my Meteor. I guess one thing got hit by the Meteor. Now the ground is ground effect of the Meteor is not being utilized, but that's okay. I'm just going to use the AOE shield here. Why not? What what am I doing? I'm a little bit lost in the sauce. Like I'm just not doing my DPS correctly. I was doing it the entire time. And now on the last boss, when we pull extra, I'm not doing it correctly. I don't know why. I'm just going to take care of this guy. I'm going to single him out. Just blast him with my scorches. I'll hit him with a couple of scorches here. Okay, never mind. I'm going to try and kick these. I'm going to sheep. Can I sheep that guy? I can sheep that guy. <laughs> That's funny. I guess that wasn't necessary because he's kind of taking damage from stuff. That's fine, though. Try and blast these. He's in crit range for the Scorch. This one's about to be in crit range for the Scorch. I got a crit anyway, even though he wasn't, I think. So that works out. And now I guess I should Ice Flows into Fireball, into... I'm in the middle of Combustion. I shouldn't have Combusted before I finished casting or was close to finishing casting my Fireball. But, oh well, what can I do? You can't execute everything perfectly, especially not when you're a little, a little confused like I was just there. Hopefully the priest queues us up again, because I am down to do more dungeons with these guys. They're blasting it. There we go. More dungeons. Catch you in the next one. We have Halls of Infusion. This could be fun with a bloodthirsty tank like this. We're going to mark the tank. Oh boy. I think this is going to be massive, so I'm just going to look for the containment apparatus, and I'm going to kick the expulse, and I'm going to try and CC other ones. Okay, we're just going for really big pulls here. Uh, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. I guess I should meteor this. I'm cast hard casting a flame strike for some godforsaken reason. I don't know how that even happened. I thought I had crits, I guess. I don't I don't know. But that was fun. I enjoyed that. Put my focus on the containment apparatus. Just blast the bejesus out of it. Yeah, it's already almost dead. That's good. That's what I need it to be. Okay, tank took care of that one. I'm going to just boop this one so he doesn't reduce our damage done. Because that's what that thing does. I'm going to use our dragon's breath. Probably shouldn't have used it just here. But we're going to do it anyway. We have meteor available. I'm going to try and put a meteor down right on top of these guys. Hopefully the tank keeps it in it. Nice. Thank you, tank. You are very nice. I appreciate you very much. We're going to kick that. Because the expulse still does a lot of damage even though it's normal mode. We're going to give the tank... Uh, what's it called? Slow fall, because he oftentimes gives himself movement speed and jumps at the end, so I give him a little bit of extra. Okay, we managed to interrupt the both of those with my... What's it called? Dragon's Breath. Jesus, now that's a new ability that I haven't been using much before, so I don't know how to say it yet, apparently. My brain doesn't know how to process it. Next pulse, we're gonna kick. The other thing is gonna go through. I can't do much about that. We're going to whoop this backwards to interrupt its cast. Okay, this is a really nasty big pull. We're going to combustion for it. Actually, Actually, that was a really late combustion, so I don't know about that one, Chief, but we're going to drop. Oh, man, I'm missing everything up. I'm thinking too much about CC. It's not my job to CC. It's my job to zug zug and pew pew. In this case, pew pew, because I'm ranged. Anyway, <laughs> I am really overthinking this quite a bit, but hey. Oh, man, come on. Let me just... There we go. 
And slow fall. Oh no, I slow fall somebody other than myself like a dumb dumb. Well, I don't have combustion now, so we're just gonna use my instant casts to get those crits in. He's below 30% by default, so we're just gonna blast scorches into his face until he gives up. Okay, we need to kill the adds. I can get scorches off of him to use on the adds, or crits off of him to use on the adds. We're going to interrupt everything with one of these. Again, I'm going to shifting power. Okay, no, I don't. I can't shifting power because I got nullifying dingy things. Oh no. Well, we're gonna scorch. I guess, into instant casts. He's basically dead here. It doesn't even matter. He's not even going to be able to put down his um, static surge is the AOE. But the other thing is like the, the thing that makes you drop the puddles on the ground. He didn't cast a single one of those because we just killed him way too quick. I'm going to be honest. I didn't do great that one uh, that time, but it's whatever. Priest, you know you can just levitate yourself and you just float over the water, right? Pyroblast precast because the tank isn't reaching it just yet. Pick that. I think I can spell steal that. I'm curious. I'm going to let this go through and then I'm going to... Yes, I can spell steal it. Very nice. Very cool. I guess since it's going to be purged, I can also spell steal it. What does it do? Is that it? No, that's one of my own buffs. I guess it just doesn't even give it to me. That's fine. There's the swaglets. I'm going to root them all in place. Drop one of these on them. Just need to get used to using some of these abilities just so I don't waste them later on. I'm going to dragon's breath all of these. They're kind of evading. So we're going to scorch, I guess, on the ones that are low HP. This one I can kick. Scorch that one pyroblast more pyroblasts scorch okay cool give him slow fall okay he found these guys i should not have pyroblasted that or mm, i should not have flame strike flame struck that i guess okay i used ice flows there in the middle of casting like a big boy just gonna knock these guys back dazzle coming through I don't have anything for this one, though. No, that meteor was so wasted. I mean, it's going to do damage, I guess, but it's like I could have done much more with it in this next pull. That's my bad. Give tank slow fall. He recognizes it, I think. Okay. I think shifting power is a good call here. And that got purged, so I don't have to actually do anything about it. I'll kick this just to group the mage up with everything, or the caster up with everything else that we've pulled. The pace of uh, fire mage is really, really something. I got to admit, I can scorch spam from the side here never mind it died so quickly i didn't need a scorch there but it worked out gonna give everyone slow fall so when they jump over the railing they can go fast or whatever recasting pyroblast recasting pyroblast there we go okay we managed to get the combustion we have pi running getting the instant casts through fireballing and drop a ring of frost here so you see everything inside of this very nice it's a good ring of peace i'm going to shifting power here just to get my stacks back we have our guaranteed scorch crits coming through so we're gonna mix a scorch crit with a fire blast every time and then we get an instant cast pyro blast afterwards and the boss is dead very nice pretty fun pretty fun i even managed to cast a freaking ring of frost in there i should have probably used ice nova on the boss to do a good chunk of damage 4k damage is not a small amount danny keeps getting dismissed i really need to find that macro the person was talking about that lets you just summon but not dismiss with a command deep chill coming through we're going to use our aoe barrier oh i'm standing in front of this thing oh no meteor here i guess we're going to kick something no the the freaking monk is going to kick it instead of us but they're standing in my meteor crap so that's good very cool going to look at the ice caller actually i should look at the gale slingers they do more damage to the group and the heal doesn't really matter as much i guess i'll kick the heal because i saw that i was kind of busy looking at my rotation so i didn't really interrupt anything we're going to shifting power here hopefully everything is still in range for me to hit with shifting power and that's level 64 okay i don't even remember hitting 63 so this is good i only have one talent point so i definitely use the talent point from 63 we'll get flow of time just because i like my blinks being low cooldown or lower cooldown i guess i should say precast fireball here Precasting, not fireball, but pyroblast. Yes, there we go. Combustion right near the end of it, so that we get the guaranteed crit on the pyroblast. We're getting power infusion. Beautiful. Keep slamming those crits. Okay, hailstorms coming through. We're gonna stand behind this. We're gonna fireball because we gotta stand still. I mean, gotta stand still. It doesn't matter what we do here. Okay, move forward so we're not getting hit by that. And that's the boss dead. Very nice. Oh, let me try and loot her. Maybe I get something. I don't. Never mind. Giving everyone slow fall for some reason. I wouldn't be able to tell you why. I just like doing it. Oh, my blink failed. I just blinked into the side of the wall. That's unfortunate. Flame strike over there. I think the tank wants to pull the big old dragon too. That's fine. Into meteor right there. I 
think. Meteor, right there. There we go. <laughs> I just I just meteored nothing but the dragon. Ooh, that oceanic breath's coming through real real hot or real cold. I don't know. The glacial proto drake, I would assume that it's uh like cold. Frost damage. I'm gonna kick this just to keep this guy moving. I'm gonna flame strike over there. Hopefully that's the right range and right position. Double Phoenix flames here. There we go. And now we can take care of it. She's gonna line of sight me. No, I've been line of sighted. I feel like a noob in PvP. Gifting power should be good here. Inundate coming through. I'm gonna use my defensive here really quick. I absorbed all of that. Flash flood coming through. I'm gonna get the heck out of that. I'm gonna blink just so I don't fall off the map. Okay, that got interrupted. I'm going to pyroblast this thing that's still left alive. I'm gonna scorch it, try and get that ready for the last boss. I'm going to time warp for the last boss so we can maybe avoid the intermission. Fireballing, fireballing. Warrior is still kind of, oh, warrior is making his way back. Okay, well, I'm gonna use my hot streak. Well, never mind. I use my hot streak. Uh, we aren't waiting for the warrior. I thought we would be. I'm going to, I'm a little confused now because I was not ready to start DPSing. Oh my goodness, I'm actually burping at the same time. That's so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Focus Deluge coming through. Still getting crits through. Scorch is coming through now. Into shifting power. There we go. That's the boss dead. Nice. Another dungeon done. And I got a robe. I don't need a robe. <laughs> Instantly queued up for another one. So I guess I'll catch you in the next one. This is sick. I like this. This is speeding up my leveling for sure. The ruby life pools. The pools of ruby life. The life pools of ruby. Ruby's life pools. Who the hell is ruby? Why do her pools give life? Many questions I have. Okay, I kind of ripped dagger off the tank. You would expect them to hit that thing at least once or twice. I guess I'll keep slamming crits into it. I don't know. I don't care. Okay, I rely of sighting here. Um, what are we doing? I'm going to interrupt everything that's here. Meteor maybe a good call here. I'm going to AoE field everyone. Trying to get more crits in. I think I just body pulled some stuff. Shifting power. I can actually move and use shifting power with ice flows. Finally check that. I'm going to interrupt that shield. Keep getting my crits in. Should have maybe used for combustion for this pull because it's pretty freaking massive. That was a sick pull. Thank you, tank. I like tanks that can pull like that and actually use their defensive properly and survive. Also big props to the healer because this must be hell to heal even in a normal dungeon. Right, I'm looking for these guys that cast. I'm just going to kick that to keep them moving. I'm going to line of sight everything apparently. I'm going to knock this guy just because he's casting that ice shield and I don't have an interrupt available. Should I combust this i do not know blazing run is coming through we should probably be like line of sighting these guys so that they all actually group up I have another meteor available so i'm just going to use that phoenix flames and fire blast keep those crits rolling we've got a scorch and then pyro blast because it's just this one guy left cool i have combustion available i'm going to go in close and use this first i'll use a, a fire blast stack just to make sure that i don't over cap on them and that i don't use my existing hot streak now we're spamming just a pyro blast crits and then i use one of my guaranteed crits and now we're just gonna use fireballs until we're ready to use a fire blast okay right now is a good time to fire blast i can use this as well maybe catch a um, i try to catch a whatchamacallit scorch off of the little guys but i couldn't now I can scorch off of her. Very nice. Okay. That worked out. And I can pyroblast her. She should be dead here soon. There we go. Nice. Okay. That worked out. I'm doing, I feel like I'm doing respectable damage, but I think I'm being boosted a bit by my, um, whatchamacallit. <laughs> I managed to yoink that dragon from whoever was trying to get it. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm being boosted a little bit by this level scaling stuff because the paladin is level 66 and he's kind of above me most of the time. Warrior is the same, but he's kind of struggling. I'm not sure why. I think because he's running the, um, yeah, he's running the build, but he doesn't have the tier bonus and he also doesn't have Annihilator, Annihilator yet. So this build that he's running doesn't make sense to run. He's better off running the Ravager and uh, Onslaught build because the tier set is what makes uh, Odin's Fury actually worth using. I'm going to kick that just to try and make them all group up. I'm going to use a Meteor here and a bunch of Flame Strikes, that's for sure. Now shifting power because I used up all my stuff. I'm going to spell steal them. I don't know what I spell stole from them. Haste increased by blood. Damage taken something. I didn't, I didn't manage to read that. I need to stop just reading that. I just need to stop stop reading those because like I don't cast any spells while I'm trying to find the buff and read it. Damage taken increased by some amount. Okay, well maybe I shouldn't steal that. And then again, I don't really take that much damage. I don't stand in stuff too much, I think. <laughs> I think I'll find out how much I stand in stuff in dungeons where it actually matters if I stand in stuff. Okay, we're gonna get a couple of scorches out here. Okay, well I guess it doesn't matter because everything's dead. Try and get some scorches in so I have a hot streak ready for the next group. We're gonna mount up here because there's 
Okay, well, I can't mount up. What am I in combat with? Do I need to go invisible? I don't. Okay, I'm out of combat, but my hot streak's gonna run out anyway. Unfortunate. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Goofy singing. Literal goofy singing. Should I be using? I should be using Meteor. I should be using Meteor a whole lot more. I need to set up these weak auras, but like, I'd much rather just keep spamming uh, dungeons than do the weak auras. Gonna kick that one to make it move in with the group. Rent's too high, it has to move in. I'm gonna keep making that joke because I laughed the first time I said it when I was editing. So I'm just gonna keep making that joke. So maybe I can make editing Vlad laugh. Editing Vlad, let me know if you laughed at it. Okay, we got a nice crit here. Uh, I guess I'll knock them back to interrupt them. That's kind of something I can do, right? Keep spell stealing that stuff from them. I'm cool with that. I wanted to spell steal that, honestly. That would have been really cool to spell steal. I wonder if it like uh, immobilizes me as well or if it just doesn't do anything. I'm gonna pyroblast precast. I'm gonna combust right before we do that. Very nice. This is super satisfying to use. Like, I really enjoy using combustion. Killing that is actually not the best thing we could do, but now I get my Scorches, so I don't really care. Now I can just instant cast, recast as much as I want. Scorch here into a Pyroblast, into a double Scorch. Never mind, it's dead. Something just absolutely exploded it. Love it. Love to see it. Spell Steel. Pick. Monk, hello? Yes, thank you. Go ahead. Give him movement speed. I'll steal all these little guys. It'll be a lot of uh, a lot of stuff for me to get rid of, but it's a lot of damage that I don't I can save our group from having to do, I guess. Should I be combusting here? I don't I'm like I don't know how often I should use combustion. I need to keep a tracker on. Like I need to keep an eye on um how often I actually have combustion. I, I know that it's more often than every two minutes because I have the the one way to reduce cooldown of combustion. I think the tank's gonna stop somewhere over there, so we'll drop our meteor over there. I was a little bit wrong about that. So my meteor hit just about nothing. That's unfortunate. We're going to get our instant cast crits out. I'm going to use the AoE shield here and to spell steal these guys. I don't even know what they do. Uh, apparently that kills me is what it does. I don't know. I think it was being hit by something else. I'm not going to spell steal these guys anymore because I don't know what it does. Maybe I, maybe it's not the best idea to do because it felt like I took a dot onto myself by doing that. So that's why I'm saying I'm hesitant. Some scorches into some flame strikes and we are good to go. Hopefully the boss is here quickly so I can make use of this hot streak. If I can, I will immediately combust. Yes, I am able to do so. I'm just going to stay on the dragon. I don't really give a crap about the other guy because the dragon has more hp okay shifting power here hopefully hitting both of them flame spit coming through it's not on me so i don't really give a shit i just failed uh, with a flame strike i'm going to i'm not going to ice block okay tank took aggro that's good scorching the dragon i'm gonna blink over here because i'm standing in front of a roaring dragon and uh that was a bit messy but i got through it and the boss is dead see if we do more the priest left before we could do another <laughs> now it's down to the tank whether he wants to do more or not maybe this is my opportunity to do some weak auras <laughs> no no tank wants to keep going we're gonna have to wait a bit for a healer though i think never mind i'll eat my words right here <laughs> Okay, let's go to... Nice. What's this called? Uh, The Azure Vault. Let's do the Azure Vault. Give the new healer a buff. And yeah, keep going. We want to mark our tank. Maybe Anthony him. I don't want to Steve him, but I'll, I'll, I think I'll just mark him and call it a day. Kick that. Maybe I should have saved my kick for the Arcane Tender because he does the erratic growth. Uh, I'm going to just be stunned. I don't have a blink available, but it was dispelled. That is very cool. I like getting dispelled. Who's this healer? Who him be? who he is whose man's this if we hug left we don't have to actually have to mm, never mind well we're gonna have to pull that because somebody walked up to it but yeah if we hugged left we would have been able to skip pretty much all of this i'm going to put down a meteor just to commemorate this occasion i'm trying to use my <laughs> <laughs> Derp. I was trying to use my dragon's breath, but it's on cooldown, so it's going to be hard to do. Give myself slow fall so I don't take damage from that. Ice flows and pyroblast this guy while everyone catches up. I don't really have to worry too much about it. Okay, we're going to cast our Phoenix Flames at that group. Going to try and kick that. I managed to kick that. That's good. I'm going to use my AoE shield here because it kind of looks like we need it. I'm going to get stunned, but I have a blink available so I can get out of that. So I don't need to be dispelled so that this spell can be used on someone else. Uh, might need to be used on me here let's see if i get it no not yet not yet not yet there it is and i should be scorching here for the guaranteed crit and pyroblast his face off let's go the sapling never mind here's the boss 
Extra sapling getting pulled. That's fine. We'll kill the sapling. Okay. Well, let's uh, combust. I'm using shifting flames or shifting power. I'm going to keep calling it shifting flames like a dum-dum the entire series, aren't I? <laughs> I used shifting power in the middle of my combustion, which was just stupid. I should have just cast a fireball like a normal human being. Now we have him in scorched range so we can just keep spamming scorches for our guaranteed crits which i assume is the actual way to do it didn't position quite correctly there if this had been like an m plus i would have had a bit of trouble there positioning onto the trees properly but that's okay oh wait okay the tank figured it out okay so what i'm going to do here is maybe not the most intelligent thing on the planet but i'm going to just straight up kill this thing before it can cast its uh, little shriek thing so we can just run past this without having to really wait for anything see if the evoker makes it through everyone should be able to make it through if they just hug this side right so we're, we should be good there i can do that because i got a lot of damage very quickly had my instant casts ready and everything i'm gonna get a scorch here and pyroblast the other one maybe get a scorch in but yeah i know that i can burst down the little whelpling before anything happens so i may as well do it and save us the trouble of having to kill all those mobs oh this is pretty good uh, i'm just going to precast flame strike right there tank wants to keep them there i'll drop my meteor over there as well use my instant cast and spam the bejesus out of flame strikes I'm rooted gonna get a scorch in for a guaranteed crit i'm going to blink because there's crap dropping down over there that i don't want to stand in and there we go very nice use a blink again try to keep up with the tank so I can get in range to cast as soon as possible. I think the tank is going to stop with this group as well. So I'm going to start casting my flame strike, pre-cast it. Okay, he's not stopping with this group, but that's okay. We'll kick that heavy tome. I'm going to, uh, I think, just spell steal that. Okay, I got piercing sharded because the tank kind of turned him around towards me. That's okay. Not a huge deal. Okay, okay. We got this being pulled. I'm going to use my AoE shield as well. Ugh, I stood in the disorient. I just, I walked back into it while trying to get away from enemies. I don't know. I just had a dumb dumb moment for a second there gonna scorch this low hp one no i'm not because it's gonna die before i can scorch it why am i just not using my instant cast why am i scorching i'm gonna keep falling into this trap of trying to scorch things that are low hp instead of just using my instant casts i should always just use my instant casts over the scorch could have utilized my existing hot streak there rather than that but i wanted i, I just dropped the meteor first i thought i'd have the time but i don't let me spell steal that i don't know what it does but all damage done increased by oh okay i like that that's a nice buff to utilize this little book here. Drop down to the lower level. You only have to go one way around. We don't have to kill everything that's on this platform. Hopefully the tank knows that. That could save us a bit of time. Can just go this side. There you go. I'm going to pyroblast while he's getting up to them. There we go. Keep pyroblasting. Okay, he's going to group them up over here, I would... Uh, imagine yes ish okay we're gonna spell steal these buffs from these guys just increase all the damage we're doing crazy high amounts there we go i like that i like being able to spell steal stuff like this it's pretty nice i like it picasso okay cool and we get to the book by just clearing one side. We don't have to clear both sides, like I mentioned. I've only really done this dungeon in very, very low Mythic Plus in Season 1. When I had just started playing, I wanted to give it a shot. I really only started playing, like, uh, end game content in Season 2. That's when I got kind of serious about it. Okay, well, we're pulling big here, so I can't give you my life story. I'm trying to CC everything. I'm going to use my AoE shield because I see people are getting low. Shifting power here. We're going to use one of these bad boys. Can I spell steal that? I don't know what it does, but I'm going to spell steal it. We're gonna finish that guy off okay now it's just the boss we're gonna combust i'm gonna scorch real quick just to get this thing should i be killing the image maybe i should be killing oh never mind <laughs> i just scorched it after someone and interrupted it okay there's orbs coming in right now right and we have to kill these guys that's how that works i, f I forget honestly it's been a hot minute since i've killed this boss the proper way usually he the, the boss just dies before we have to do any sort of mechanic on it get that last one with a pyroblast that's perfect and it's in scorch range so we can just use the scorches to guarantee our crits so we can cast the fire pyroblasts and i didn't get get to give him one that's why please can do skip the time save can do just need unless they've changed something else it used to be you can do the skip without doing this boss now you have to do this boss in order to do this skip otherwise you just die but let me show you what the skip is. <laughs> oh man, I ate shit so bad there. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like we can't actually skip that anymore. Oh, that's a big bummer because I really, really like that skip. It saved a lot of time. Now I feel like a dum dum. My apologies. Yo, the drive by, I'm like floating past them and blasting them with fire. <laughs> Okay, that was worth it just for that one moment. Okay, let's try and avoid that. Ice flows and fireball this bastard. Okay, I guess we're pulling everything anyway. 
I don't think I pulled that. Did I? I don't know. Oof, I got bonked by the thing. I'm going to meteor over there. Hopefully keep them all still. I'm going to use the... Never mind. I used it on the target all the way in the background. Reusing my shield. Resummoning Danny for the damage buff. You didn't know. Using the pet that your girlfriend gets you gives you 10% more damage. We're just going to paralysis this. That doesn't actually keep us out of combat. So hopefully it didn't get pulled. I think it did just get pulled. I couldn't be able to tell you. I wouldn't be able to tell you, I think, is the way I was supposed to phrase that sentence. But oh well. Uh, I'm going to blink. I'm going to stand in this direction so that I don't get knocked off the platform. Because I almost uh, got knocked off the platform just there a second ago. Oh, we're, we're in combat. Oh, cool. Drakthir can just do that. Crazy. Crazy how nature do that. I can flame strike. That's the only thing I can do to contribute to the DPS over there. There we go. We did it. Nice. Yay. <laughs> Here they come. Okay, so we had an issue where uh, we paralysis the frog that put people in combat because they got close to it and then they couldn't use the book. Well, we, we managed to take care of it. No biggie now. Okay, then we're using a bit of a combustion here. Frost bomb on me. I'm just going to stand over here, like in the back. Blink through. Keep using instant cast crits. I see devastator on me. I should step away from people. Okay, now we stand here. I'm just going to shifting power here. I don't really use shifting power for damage. I should be using it for um, anything with the stuff. stuff. Hard casting pyroblast because i got time while he's shielded up there or she i don't know my apologies and frost bomb coming through but i think the boss is dead before the next uh area gets used like the next safe thing gets used scorching here okay so it got, i think it got touched to death <laughs> which is brutal uh if i just jump down let me go in viz and jump down and then i'll blink i'm in viz right now and then we blink a hey, easy and i didn't even pull the boss <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. Okay, waiting for the tank to show up. There's the tank. I'm going to pyroblast. My apologies, tank. I know you're not ready for that. I think he wants me to tank it now for pulling it. No, no. He got aggro. Good. Thank you. That was very rude of me. I'm so sorry. I just, I felt the need because I got here so quickly. I'm going to shifting power in the middle of my combustion again like an idiot. I think we're trying to, I'm just going to go ahead and give a AoE shield to the group here. People are killing the crystals, but I don't think we need to. What we need to is just kill the boss a little bit more quickly. So it feels like the crystal DPS is a little bit wasted, but hey, we got through it. That's all that matters. I got a trinket. Nice. That's cool. These are significantly higher item level than the things I have as heirlooms. Somebody declined. It was the healer oh well healers that want to stick around maybe i'm taking too much damage or maybe the tank's taking too much damage i don't know or maybe they just want to do one dungeon and leave that's fine too i guess i'll talk to you in the next dungeon we got another nultarus run so we're just going to skip through this we have huang healing us a level 70 pendaren monk probably just starting to get a bit of gear for his brand new level 70 character but yeah we're just going to skip through uh for this nultarus because i've already done an nultarus oh their group fell apart and the tank had to go those are some really really fun runs and uh miss thunder if you're watching those are some really cool pulls i really appreciate those runs but it looks like our path forward is on our lonesome unless we run into the same people again that's cool it cool as well i guess and <laughs> Out of the frying pan and into the oven, I guess. I don't know. I just spawned in and immediately got attacked. Oh, there's a lot of enemies here. Okay. Well, let's just scorch this guy to death. Build up a crit for the next one I pull. Okay. This is giving me a good perspective of how little damage Scorch actually does. We're going to Pyroblast here. And we're going to... Before the Pyroblast goes off, we're going to use one of these. Kick that so it doesn't actually hit us. And Scorch him. Just to... Just to oh, there's the Chief. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do this world quest. I'm going to queue up for some more dungeons. Actually, before I queue up before I do the world quest, before anything, I need to update these weak auras. I'm missing some buttons here. Namely, I'm missing my meteor and I'm missing dragon's breath. These two are actually pretty good offensive cooldowns. Oh, get the heck off of me, you freak. Oh, and I run into another one. Okay, well, fine. You guys are going to get meteored. How do you like that? There you go. Was that fun? Did you enjoy that? Was that a fun and interactive gameplay moment for you? Anyway, we're going to park over here and try and make these weak auras work. And after that, I'll queue up for a dungeon and I'll talk to you in that dungeon. Okay, well, we have another old mon run. I'm just going to blast through that. looks like we have a Guardian Druid and a Resto Druid. Take us through this journey. I'm going to drop a Meteor right here. I'm hoping that we keep them in there. And look for a kick on this guy in the back. Okay, we have another Fire Mage here. Let's see who the better one is. <laughs> Probably not going to be me, let's be real. But uh, since I've already done this dungeon, I'm just going to skip through it. I did make some new weak auras, which is uh, weak auras to track Meteor and to track whatchamacallit. It's Sun King's Blessing, Sun King's Fury, whatever you want to call it. We're going to just spell steal these. But yeah. And now I have that available as well. When they hit 65 is when I unlocked it. So I'm pretty happy about that. Anyway, talk to you in the next dungeon. We got another no code offensive. Looks like we got a frost mage with us. Rod Paladin, Holy Paladin. Another uh, same Paladin, same, or oh, sorry, same class healer and tank. Like the last dungeon. That's kind of funny. But yeah. 
talk to you in the next one. Ruby life pools, one that we've already done. So I'm just gonna skip through it. There's gonna be a lot of these that we skip. Brackenhide Hollow up next. It's 67 now, making my way to 70, that's for sure. It's taken a while and honestly, I'm doing a lot of quests and killing a lot of rares along the way just to speed things up, but we're getting there. You got a Halls of Infusion. I came in here in the middle of a fight, so that's why I have these procs already going, but yeah, another Halls of Infusion. I can't actually remember, have I done all the dungeons? I feel like I haven't done all the dungeons yet, right? Or have I? I'll have to check after this one, look at the recordings and check what dungeons there are, but I, th I feel like I haven't. I don't know. The tank from the last dungeon from the Halls of Infusion uh, decided to stay with us here, so that's pretty nice. I uh, get a quick dungeon pop. I can always appreciate that. Let's see which way the tank wants to take us. We're just going to mark him real quick. I don't want to Steve him. I'll mark him. And then when he decides which way to go, we'll go that way. He wants to... Oh, he's looking for the different buffs. Okay. He's going to take the green buff. I don't even know what green gives. But yeah. Since we've done Al Algathar Academy, I'll just go ahead and uh, skippity skip. The group from Algathar decided to stay together and we're doing another Oldemon. So I finally got a chance to take a look at whether or not we've done all the dungeons and we have indeed done all the dungeons. In this dungeon, I'm gonna hit 69. Uh, the next dungeon I do, I'm going to fully commentate. Uh, I'm just going to skip until I'm doing the last dungeon on this character before 70. And I'll just commentate through that one. And I think that'll be the end of the episode. And here we are in the final dungeon. Before we hit level 70, we are at 71%. If I can't hit 70 from this, I'm going to be very, very upset. Well, we're hoping Weirdo joins us soon so we can get started with this dungeon. Because I have been leveling from 60 to 70 for quite a while now. I guess it's not Weirdo, it's we. So I've been making use of these weak auras. Um, trying to figure out how to best make use of Sun King's Blessing. I basically have my build down and set up the way I'm going to run it in uh, Mythic Plus, which is the Flame Strike build. There was some discussion on the Discord about which build is actually better, about priority damage and stuff like that, but quite honestly, I don't think it matters too much. I'm going to kick this and spell steal this. Another shield for me to spell steal over there. I'm going to just straight up go ahead and use Combustion here, which probably I shouldn't have when I had run out of all of my instant casts, I should have probably used my shifting power before I did that. Okay, tank is pulling something. I'm going to hard cast here to get my Sun King's Blessing through. Spam the bejesus out of flame strikes. Going to try and keep up with the tank. Grab this shield off of this guy with a spell steal. I can drop a meteor here because I know the tank wants to stay here. It's a prot paladin so he'll try to stay there no matter what. We have the big guy charging off into the distance. We're going to try and spell steal this. I accidentally tabbed out of the game when I was trying to do that so that didn't really help. I'm using ice flows to stay on top of this guy while I channel my thing. We're going to hard cast a pyroblast at the boss in order to get a combustion from Sun King's Blessing. Using my instant cast, there's only two targets so I really don't need to do flame strikes. They're not going to be good. I'm going to drop a meteor on this target. Uh, I use the scorch because I have to keep moving. I should have used ice flows and a fireball. That's okay. I don't want to use my combustion here. I can just hard cast a pyroblast for another Sun King's Blessing and then I'll use that to finish off these adds along with a phoenix flame and some fireblasts to keep getting these procs as quickly as possible padding stats here for sure <laughs> with that last flame strike but we got it done i didn't really expect the boss to die that quickly just grabbing one of these drakes to get up there tank seems to know what's up they're going through the dungeon at a pretty rapid pace they got a cool transmog too that looks cool as hell what the heck is that I'm going to take a look see here we're going to kick that thing to make a group up we're going to combustion here and start spamming our instant casts keep those flame strikes going i'm going to drop a meteor here hard to see from the branches. Whenever I do this dungeon, there's always a 5 billion branches in my way. Spell steal that so he dies right away. There we go. I'm going to kick this to make it move together with what the tank's pulling. I'm going to ice flows. There's a living bomb on me. I'm going to turn friendly health bars on so I can see where people are standing so I can knock up just the enemy units but not my friends. I'm going to spell steal this buff from this target because it gives me haste. It increases the damage I take but I'm not like taking fatal damage so I don't really care. I'm going to try and clean up these little mobs so we can mount up and keep moving. I can turn off friendly health bars and be on my way. Hopefully the tank mounts up as well. He did. Very good. It's funny, whenever we get onto those like drakes, everyone just kind of remains locked in the direction they mount in and then the mounts just run sideways. It's so funny to see. I'm gonna meteor here because the tank wants to stay in that spot. That's good. Use my dragon's breath to get another proc of these i should have probably tried to get on top of whatchamacallit that spot but hey i don't have spells uh there we go counter spell available at the that point in time but that's okay i'm 
fairly certain I messed up my uh, one use of Sun King's Blessing there. I have one available now, so I'm going to just hard cast a Pyroblast at this big guy and just channel that damage into this Flame Dancer. Get a Scorch in. I have Combustion up. I'm not sure why I'm Scorching for. I'm going to interrupt that. I don't feel like I should use a Meteor here because these are going to die very quickly. Meteor damage is mostly from... Well, not mostly, but a good chunk of it is from the patch of fire on the ground that's left after it. We're going to Spell Steal that and it makes him die immediately because that's the shield he applies to himself. Well, I have pretty much all of my stacks. I'm going to hard cast a Pyroblast to trigger this thing. Sun King's Blessing, and we're going to combust on top of it. And then we have a bunch of combustion time available to us. Just getting my instant casts in for the crits. Oh. I just straight up stood in that because I was tunneling on my rotation, to be honest with you. And there we go. Absolutely blasted on that boss. I'm going to spell steal that and interrupt it to keep it moving. I spell stole it because it reduces its health bar significantly, as you can see, because it's mostly shield health. I'm trying to get started with some uh, crits here. I should hard cast a flame strike. I don't think I have time. I wasted one of my Sun, Sun King's blessings. That's unfortunate, but what can I do? I just wasn't quick enough about getting the use out of it. Tank is taking the pulls consistently conservatively. I'm hoping this actually makes me ding. I'm kind of nervous that it won't. We'll see. There's a bunch more EXP to be had here. I failed my kick. That's unfortunate. I'm going to use the AoE shield that I have. I'm going to use this. I'm going to ice block right away because I'm very low HP and there's a lot of damage happening to the entire group. I'm trying to get my damage out. Trying to kick this, but my thing's on cooldown still. My interrupt, I should say. I'm going to not spell steal that. I learned that the hard way. It's a dot that makes you do... It gives you a bunch of haste, but it is a dot so it's gonna hurt you quite a bit it's made for like the mobs health pool so i swear the the devs just put that in there for people who like to spam spell still whenever they see a buff on an enemy <laughs> Just to mess with them. Or to mess with me, I guess. <laughs> I'm Warp Mage, yes. Okay, I will do that. I will do so. Yes. I'm hard casting Fire Blast at this guy with a thingy thing. We're gonna drop this. Try and hit both the targets with it, if possible. And by this, I mean the Meteor. We can hard cast. Mm, should I be hard casting right now? I still had one of my combustions running, or the first combustion running, so maybe I shouldn't have hard cast. Casting a Scorch just to get that through. Oh, and it's, it's dead, and I didn't level up. This is how bad leveling dungeons are but i'm going to queue up as a party and hopefully the tank wants to stay and we can yes the tank and the healer want to stay these have been very quick or this one was very quick so i'm hoping that we get to stay together and i don't have to go quest for the last bit of exp because that would really suck the tank is asking how much to 70 i said four percent he says one more help all right, a no coup defensive, the longest possible dungeon that we could have gotten. Maybe Neltharis is a bit longer, I don't know. But yeah, I was chatting a bit with the tank, and this is going to be his 670. That's amazing. He's got an army. <laughs> <laughs> on my old account i had one of each class at 70 and i think i had multiple warriors at least two paladins at 70 there's something about warriors i already have a bunch of warriors at 70 on this account <laughs> when i'm playing in my free time just waiting on the tank to come over and start pulling we're gonna mark him with a square oh there he goes he's going straight in for it good for the kill i like it we're gonna drop a combustion right here i'm gonna drop a meteor as well uh, i'm going to use the aoe shield because we seem to be taking quite a bit of damage as a group in general the shoot is doing quite a bit of work for these guys. I'm going to use my... Ooh, I'm going to ice block. I don't have ice block for like a little bit longer. Oh no. I'm just going to... Ah, oh, there we go. I managed to sheep that thing because it was causing some trouble for me by shooting me in the face. That is a bit of trouble, right? I'm going to CC everything. Another meteor. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I'm going to go invis just so I don't get shot. The other mage is getting his face rearranged by the arrows. Please heal me, shaman. Please heal me. Okay, I think I'm being healed. I'm not certain. I'm just going to stay in my little ice cube. This is a hell of a pull. I'm going to reapply my arcane intellect because someone's missing it. I don't have any sort of offensive to give to the group. I'm going to use... I'm going to CC everything because that guy was about to buff everyone. Probably not doing optimal damage here. We're going to kick that just because it's going to cause issues if we don't... Uh, it might catch the healer off guard in the middle of a cast and cause an issue because if you cast while that goes off, you get interrupted like I experienced in the first run 
round of knuckle defensive that I did. Okay, that was messy. I think I body pulled a, a patrol. That was completely my bad, but we we survived, I guess. Kind of good uh, that I'm forced to experience this kind of uh, situation. Oh, I let another Sun King's blessing go to waste. I need to do something to make it much more apparent. When there's very little time left on it, I need to make it like glow or hop or something just so I know when there's less than 10 seconds that I need to make use of it soon. Otherwise, it's wasted completely. Ah, uh, tank's going out of nowhere. I'm going to start casting a flame strike. That'll hit it. Casting a pyroblast. Okay, there we go. I used combustion right at the end of that, using my instant cast to get that through. For these, we're going to hard cast. Mm, I guess I, I don't hard cast in the middle of a thingy thing. In the middle of a combustion, right? I shouldn't be hard casting this. Which one is going to activate first? I don't know. This one. Okay, we use it during the eruption. Oh, hopefully I didn't just mess it up for us by interrupting him before he did the eruption okay good i guess I, I guess it's okay we have a sun king's blessing but the boss is going to die before i'm able to get do anything with it but hey that pyroblast killed them so i'm cool with that oh we have another fire mage in the group that's cool oh they're a little baby fire mage 62 well i'm 69 so i don't know why i'm calling them a baby i'm still a baby too speaking of being a baby what that's such a weird sentence. What the hell? <laughs> I have a full set of gear that I've bought up. I also have these suffused sandals because what I ended up doing was the Farrak Assault just because there were quests there. So I wanted to do those quests because they were a good chunk of EXP. And I got the suffused sandals from the like box. You can get level 70 gear apparently. So I have those instead of these. I'm going to just equip these for the whatchamacallit. Why am I hard casting? What the heck? We're going to equip it for the thingy thing with the stuffy stuff. My brain is not cooperating. The transmog. That's what I'm going to equip it for. Jesus, that took a second for me to process. I cannot speak while I'm doing the pew pew. Apparently it's just, I can't. Just one track mind is what Danny likes to call it. <laughs> <laughs> the one track is pew pew. Okay, I wasted one of my phoenix flames, but that's okay. We're gonna hard cast a flame strike here. Okay, the reason I hard cast it is to proc Sun King's blessing, which gives me a bit of combustion for free. I don't have to use a combustion. It's very nice actually. Like if uh, if you manage to make it work and you have the right right amount of charges and stuff on your instant cast, you can actually just have like a triple combustion back to back. To back. I guess I'm stuck in combat because that one's being dragged over, and now I have to run over there like a plebeian okay well we're going to cc everything over here drop a meteor on top of that i should get a mouse overcast from the meteor i'm going to kick that make him group up with the rest of these guys i'm going to cast my shifting power just so i can get some of these stacks back and i'm not going to use any of the stacks i'm just going to use my scorch and that's level 70 hey we did it now i guess i should be equipping these i'll just stand over here for a little bit while i equip these i'll equip these booties what why is it not letting me equip them? I guess I'm in combat. Okay. That was weird. It wasn't really showing me that I was in combat. Like, I can't do that while in combat. I need to CC things here. Try and grab these orbs because they give me extra damagio. Very good. And I couldn't I couldn't choose whether to scorch it or to flame strike it or to what 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 to do with it. Flame definitely not flame strike. I needed a scorch to go off to two flame strike, but there was one enemy. Anyway, moving on. Combustion here. Maybe not the best time to use combustion considering my lack of stacks. I'm going to purge the boss to reduce the damage being taken by the tank because it's some sort of physical damage buff. I'm grabbing these orbs because they give me a bunch of extra damage and I'm going to hard cast a pyroblast why? Because we had Sun King's Blessing ready. We're going to drop this on top of the boss. The meteor, I mean. Keep using my instant casts. I should be dispelling the boss, but I guess I didn't do that. Boss is in Scorch range, so we can just use Scorches to get our guaranteed crits. One Scorch and a Phoenix Flame and a Pyroblast, and the boss should be dead sometime soon. There we go. Beautiful. Why is it only showing me? That's really weird. Details glitching out because we got into, like, mini combat or whatever, like, just one little tiny fight. At any rate, I seem to be doing okay. 30k overall is level... Well, now I'm level 70, but I am very undergeared. Now, let's... While we're, fly, while we're flying over there, that's what I wanted to say. We're going to equip all these things that we've gotten for ourselves and another thing that i wanted to say about that gear is where the heck am i going that's what i wanted to say about it apparently now they're fighting over there we're going to land here we're going to do that i had some friends join us where is my soul there is my soul where is my mind ah oh, watching all these flame strikes from double fire mage is really really funny another thing i wanted to say about the gear while i'm still running through the dungeon is the fact that i'm going to probably craft a bunch of gear and i say probably because i'm not sure yet but yes craft a bunch of gear using whelpling crests because that'll get just get me a bunch of gear that's 441 if it's 
it's five star or 440 something at any rate it's better than these blues and greens that i've been getting I'm gonna meteor this because it's a bigger pull than i expected it to be also where the heck is my soul grab my soul right there i still don't have any cc available well i guess i do i just use some what am i doing why am i so confused about this i guess because i'm trying to say two things at the same time which is commentate the game and also speak about the gear that i'm trying to get but yes the gear i'm trying to get is basically crafted with wellplane crests i've been farming wellplane crests like crazy by flying around in the dream surge event i just want to finish equipping these there we go that's beautiful 403 item level looking kind of good too i don't have a weapon i just realized like i didn't of all the things that i could have bought and did buy and didn't buy i forgot to buy a weapon so that's interesting let's put it that way i'm gonna inter interrupt that just because i can a search dominance i guess and one scorch for the road and a power blast for this guy and we move on i thought the mage accidentally time warped but i just got my little talent thing because i've been grabbing that i guess i can grab another talent over there i'm gonna meteor these guys oh i love the pace of fire mage it's everything but slow genuinely it's so like breakneck pace i love it i'm gonna grab my soul and head over to the boss to get it started i don't think i'll be able to benefit from my sun king's fury maybe if i pre-cast my flame strike i'm gonna cast that at five seconds left right about now mm, it's only six seconds really or seven seconds of flame of uh combustion so not much use there i'm gonna start pre-casting some flame strikes just so maybe i catch one of that there we go we managed to catch one up with it and to use our combustion and get started drop a meteor while they're still grouped up because they won't be grouped up for long just keep tunneling into the same one used our dragon's breath from one of our crits now we can hard cast a pyroblast with sun king's blessing there we go still spamming the bejesus out of these we should be stacking on top of each other that kind of worked out by accident i didn't really realize that that was happening so i just kind of jumped around like a moron but what i should do there is just stack up because that way all of the tornadoes originate from where you're standing and you don't have to deal with the uh, somebody else's tornado or your own tornado hitting you if you just stack up there's just nowhere for the nados to go anyway i think i explained that or tried to explain that in the previous run of this dungeon as well but have a double explanation treat yourself don't spend it all in one place or something i don't know what to say i still feel stupid about having not bought myself a weapon of all things like that's the biggest stat increase i could probably get imagine having a weapon that's 321 let's say or th oh sorry not 321 Vlad, what? 421 instead of 329? That would be a massive upgrade, right? Just squeeze through this. Hopefully people know which way to go. It seems that they do. Everyone's making their way over. That's very good. He says time warp. You heard him. I'm gonna hard cast my thingy thing. My pyroblast. I should have used combustion there. It kind of worked out. Uh, which one does the blood curling scream? I think it's Batak. I think I remember it because the name, the word Batak is like chicken leg or something. and <laughs> Drumstick <laughs> in, in my language. So that's pretty funny to me. I'm going to hard cast a pyroblast here. I'm just going to eat that damage that's on the ground. I don't care. I guess I'll kick this one in the background. No, I can't kick that because I cast something else or I kicked some other cast. Balara is now low HP we're going to spam scorches into balara oh we all got feared i'm going to ice block that keep spamming scorches i'm going to use trying to figure out where the mage is where is the mage the mage is all the way over there i'll just let the mage figure it out for themselves i was trying to set it up so that i have everyone in range for my group shield i'm gonna stand in this just to share my health pool with everyone i guess i'm wasting this because i didn't use enough phoenix flames to justify using that i still had instant casts available that i didn't utilize and there we go that's the last dungeon done we got a crackling dagger so i guess we can get an offhand instead of a one hand or instead of a staff or something cool i'm going to to leave instance group i almost started casting a hearthstone because i just i'm so used to keep uh, mythic plus <laughs> okay we are level 70 woo we got the call of the dream that's nice uh, i still wanted to gather up some more whelpling crests so i'm going to go ahead and do that once i have them all gathered up i'm gonna craft things but i think i'm gonna end the episode here because i'm already dreading editing all of these dungeons that i've done it's probably gonna take me a whole day of editing to get it done but uh hey that's leveling for a zero to three k series i guess hopefully you guys enjoyed this extra long episode if you did drop a like let me know what you liked about it in the comment if you had fun make sure you subscribe because there's more episodes coming if you're feeling particularly generous you can become a channel member channel members have guaranteed replies to their comments and they get nice little shout outs like james got today but as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you in the next episode